Learn how to set up and play PlayStation 2 games in any iOS device like iPads and iPhones without any jailbreak or computer. Launch the Safari browser and type exactly what I am typing, which is Play Emulator GitHub. On the search results page, tap on this GitHub link as shown. Once you are on the GitHub page, just tap on this URL, highlighted in blue, which is the official website of Play. On the top of the page, just tap on this download button. And on the next page, tap on this hyperlink, which states, stable builds for iOS. At the time of making video, the latest version is 0.65, just tap on it. And finally on the next page, just tap on this, play.ipa file, and download the same. Next just sideload this file. There are different ways of sideloading IPA, like Scarlet, Signalus, Sideloadly, Flexdoor, Sidestore, Altstore, and many more. I have already covered all these sideloading methods in my previous videos, and accumulated into a single playlist, name of which is Sideloading Methods. Link will be in the description. Once play is sideloaded, it's mandatory to launch the emulator once, so that necessary folders are created in the background. Next launch the files app, and as you can see, the play folder is created successfully. Play emulator do not even require BIOS files. So we only need the game file, in ISO format, let me show how to load the game, in play emulator. I have already downloaded the game, which is in 7z, format. As you can see, the game is Naruto for PlayStation 2. If the file is in zip format, you can easily extract it by just tapping on it. But if it's in 7z format, you may need to install this extractor app from App Store, we'll leave the link in description as well. Once downloaded, go back to that game file, long press on it, tap on share, and choose zip extractor, as shown on the video. On the extractor app, you will see something like this, just tap on extract option, to start the extracting process. Let me also mention that, by the end of the video, I will also show, how you can get the list of games, completely playable, in this play emulator. Once the extraction process is over, just go back to the files app. Navigate to, on my iPad section, go into the zip extractor folder, and here you can find the folder of the game extracted, inside the folder, you can find the actual ISO file, we require. Long press on the ISO file. Copy, or move the file, to the play folder as shown, which is located inside the, on my iPad, section. Place the file in this folder only. Once the ISO file is placed in the play folder, let's go back to the play emulator app. Go to settings, scroll down, and just tap on rescan device for games, highlighted in blue. After scanning, it will fetch the GAM, as shown. When you tap on it, it will ask to enable, JIT. If you tap on continue without enabling JIT, the emulator will crash right away. Do not worry, as I will show you two different ways of enabling JIT, in iOS 17. The first is via Troll Store app, where you must sideload play, IPA file using Troll Store, and next just have to search for Play Emulator inside Troll Store, just tap on the emulator, and tap on, open with JIT option. This will launch Play Emulator, now just tap on the game, and simply tap on continue option. As you can see, the game has successfully started, without crashing. It is running smooth. And if you want to enable JIT, using Troll Store, just watch this video, which I have already made, link will be in description. You may face slight lag, but as you progress into the game, this will go away. You can also tweak around with the resolution of the game, to do so, just tap on this menu button. Tap on settings, increasing the resolution factor will increase the sharpness of the game, but will decrease the frame rates. Similarly, decreasing the resolution factor, will increase the frame rates. One great feature of Play Emulator, is that you can save your game progression, locally in your iOS device. Just tap on this menu button, as shown, next tap on save state. Now just save the progression, to any of the available slots. You can now exit the game, and if you want to continue from the last saved game progression, just launch the game. Tap on menu, and select load game option. Select the slot, where the game was saved. And as you can see, I am back, where I left the game. Not everyone, have a compatible device for Troll Store, to enable JIT, so the next method is for any iOS device, which is using SideJIT server, and shortcut app. 
First activate the server, and the launch the shortcut app, and here tap on this side JIT, shortcut, as shown. It will list all the side loaded apps, now, from the list, just search for the play emulator app, tap on the play emulator, as shown. And play emulator will open, and you will see a notification like this, stating that, JIT is enabled for play emulator. Now you can simply tap on the game, and continue to play it. I have already made a video on enabling JIT, using side JIT server. Link will be in the description. Finally let me show you the list of playable games. Visit the official website of Play Emulator, tap on this playable hyperlink, highlighted in blue. As you can see, these are the list of PlayStation 2 games, you can play without any error, so you can browse the list, and see if your favorite games are in the list or not. I hope you find this video helpful. So do subscribe to my channel. And if you face issues with app revokes frequently, watch my next videos to learn how you can prevent revokes.